Good day, students. Today, we will discuss the fundamentals of plating. In making appetizer, we must remember the appetizer must be attractive. There are guidelines that needs to be followed to make the appetizer attractive. The balance, the portion, and the arrangement of plate. To make the appetizer more attractive, we must consider the portion. In this plate, there are four crackers that can be put in this plate. Now, we will balance the appetizer. First, we must consider the flavors. So, let's put a flavor on the cracker biscuit. So, I will put the tuna. And we'll put the cheese. So this is also a example of appetizer of canapé. And our base is pita biscuit. So in our previous lesson, canapé uh, can be based as a bread and cracker biscuit. We have to prepare quickly the appetizer because in balance, the texture must be preserved to serve a good quality of appetizer. So in balance also, we must consider the shapes. So the shapes must have two or more variety. So I will put now the garnish. So we have two shapes in our appetizer. So there are two shapes, as you can see, and there are two or more colors in our appetizer. In making this tuna appetizer, we also follow the arrangement on the plate. So in arrangement of the plate, we have to make it simple and clear. Okay, let's have a recap in fundamentals of plating. So, the guidelines that we need to follow are the balance, portion, arrangement of the plate. In balance, color are also considered. There are two or more colors in the plate as we can see in this example. Shape are also considered. There are variety of shapes in our appetizer. Texture. So, meaning texture, we have to preserve, we have to serve this quickly. Flavors. So, uh, this is also a guidelines. Next is the portion. We match the portion of the size and plate. Arrangement on the plate. So, in arrangement of the plate, uh, we can see that we design our plating as simple as we can. I hope you learned class. Thank you for listening.